All right. And once again, I will apologize for my voice being a bit hoarse. It's um, not much we can do. I don't feel sick, but clearly there's something a bit off, but I've been struggling with it for uh, over a week now. But anyway, Tim's putting up with me, so you guys can as well. Uh, <laughs> what are your guys' opinion on Ryzen 7000 PBO slash Curve Optimizer? Would you be happy to run the chips at stock bar settings or would you limit the PPT slash temps and play with Curve Optimizer? Uh, P.S. You guys are my number one source of tech media. Merry Christmas to the Harbour Box team and other side up UK. Oh, from the other side up UK, sorry. Uh, yes, well, thank you for all of that. Um, I would probably recommend if you had a Ryzen 7000 CPU and you wanted it to run a bit cooler and potentially a bit better, start playing with the... Um, I, it's a tough one whether you'd leave it stock or not. I guess it's like, are you interested in overclocking? Are you interested in improving the out-of-the-box performance? I guess that's the best way to put that question. So do you want to tinker with it? Do you want a risk stability? Do you want the headache of it maybe crashing, resetting? Do you want to put in the time and effort to improve and tune your system? I guess if the answer is yes, then I would start by... Probably looking at like undervolting, curve optimizer, all of those tuning things and, and see where you get, but you're gonna have to put a fair bit of time and effort into actually validating whether it's stable or not, um, depending on how critical stability is to you. If it doesn't really matter if it crashes here and there, then you don't have to go too crazy with that because if it crashes, it's not too much of an inconvenience. You just, you really after reducing temperatures, power consumption, and improving performance. But if having your system crash late game or something would be devastating to you, then I'd personally leave it stock, which is why I leave mine stock because yep. there's nothing worse than being in an, if we're talking about gaming, there's nothing worse than being in an awesome multiplayer game or something and really enjoying it and then having a system crash. Like, yeah, that's crushing. And likewise, if you're doing some professional level work or something and you've been working for a while and your system crashes, that also sucks. So yeah. I guess that's the easiest way to answer that one. If, you, if, if you're willing to take on the challenge of tuning and tweaking and you don't mind a sort of a bit of a st stability hiccup here and there, uh, then yep. go for it because there can be some decent results to be had.